What's up Rank Gang, welcome back to Red Fern Ranch, welcome back to Slain Saturday, I am Jay Red Fern. Now we've got a request this week from one of my biggest followers of my Slain reactions, uh, the Zahn. Um, Zahn has requested The Enemy, which is Slain, My Child and Right Hook. Now we already know any time Slain and Right Hook are on the track together, it's absolute fire. I expect no different with this and it's even more exciting because he threw my child in the mix too um my child's a guy i just i've got nothing but respect for he seems like a really cool cool guy to me he does wears his heart on his sleeve that's how he comes across to me um so yeah looking forward to listening to this one with the three of them being on the track i'd have liked it to have been a little bit longer than three minutes and 30 but you know at least we're getting it at least we're getting it so i'll stop ranting and get into this one the enemy slain my child right off let's go that came up supreme villain mad child and slain or what 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 is that is that like is this from an album that's called call that with just these two collabing on it or is, yeah let me know let me know from girl house the motion picture sound so so i don't know maybe it's on an album called Supreme Villain, but they borrowed it for the movie and it's on the soundtrack too. Maybe let me know in the comments. I'm full of anxiety. This black cloud, it just hangs by me. A vampire feeling for blood on his legs, probably. It's how they got me, so they flee like it's a bank robbery. Look at me, I'll be when I hobble through the dang lobby. They can't divide me from the violence that I hide inside me. Traumatize me with their silence and their eyes deny me. But I'm a tyrant and a giant with the nine beside me. So I'm flying with defiance like a kamikaze. I can already see why it's being battled for the movie because you can already tell it's it's got a sick beat and obviously you've got Slain, Mad Child and Right Hook which means it's going to be good anyway but obviously Slain's a bit bigger than he is nowadays in this video and his voice sounds a little different too I don't know whether that's to do with carrying a little bit of extra weight but it makes his voice sound a little different and you may think I'm talking absolute bollocks here and it sounds exactly the same but I'm, I'm sure it's, it sounds a little bit more a little bit rough more rough than it usually does a little bit more croaky if you know what I mean um, yeah and I love the sound of Slane it's unique there's no one who sounds like Slane which is what makes him stand out even more to me I love rappers who stand out with the voice as long as the voice is not irritating of course but yeah I think everyone on this track has got has got that. Everyone on this track has got a unique sound to them, and you know who they were straight away. I mean, Mad Child certainly has. Even though I did say recently there was another rapper who sounded like Mad Child, so yeah, I might be just talking nonsense there. I'm a lion, I'm an enemy, a zombie. I'm never dying in your memory, you might find me. In my apartment, blindly pacing, cause the doctors call me. A mental patient with the patience on my heart. I told you not to wind them up. Now it's too late. Now it is too late. Oof. Slain tells you not to wind them up. Don't wind the guy up because you don't want that smoke. <laughs> Depressing 
you should evacuate. I have an eye to revenge this plan immaculately. With an exaggerate, they cut exact and accurately. When all these girls see that I react so passionately, I guarantee there won't be no more people laughing at me. You might think that this all start. Listen, I'm gonna say something mad here that I don't think I've ever said before. I think my child's absolutely murdering this, you know. I th- I, I do. Everything about that beat with his flow and even his lyrics, it, it's just it's meshing together perfectly. Uh, I feel bad saying this, but I, f- I feel like he's I feel like I'm hurting someone out doing slain on the track here. I really do. I love slain, but yeah, I'm taking it back to him. Oh, I love that. I love that. Um, I love it when they go dark. You know, I love it when when you hear them like a fucked up side in the red. What they call them, wrote down the lyrics. It's just brilliant. Um, I know they don't think like that in everyday life, but they've took themselves to that dark place and been able to write that down the way my child does and put it on a track. I, I maybe that's what it is. Maybe I I appreciate that type. Of music a lot like there's something about it that gets me excited and also I, f- I can see the humor in it i can hear the humor in it and it makes me laugh too um so i yeah i enjoyed that from my child i really did i'm just sorry the song's only got a minute left i really am <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. Zan, thank you so much for that. I, I don't know whether you kept requesting this because you knew that I'd love it and I did. So thank you for that. Thank you for that so much. If there's anything else like that, let me know in the comments. Also, was that Supreme Villain an album? Let me know that with my child and Slain. Um, oh yeah, is that just referencing something else that I don't really understand quite now? Um, but yeah. <sighs> The first time I've ever said that, I think, but I, I love Slain, but I really did prefer Mad Child's verse on that one. I know it sounds a bit sacrilegious to the Slain fans, but I, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it just is what it is. I've got to tell the truth on the channel. I've got to say what I feel. And maybe you don't agree, and it's fine, cause it's all about opinions, but it's what you take from a track and what you, what you hear and what you like. And uh, Yeah, Mad Child absolutely murdered it for me. And I feel like them words are very necessary in terms of that track too. So, yeah, absolutely loved it, as I said. I'm not going to keep sounding like a broken record saying the same thing. So I will say, please, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, don't nowhere near get as many likes as I get views. So if we can correct that, I will start getting bigger on YouTube. And that, that's hopefully the goal to get more subscribers in, get the channel growing, which brings more requests in which makes the channel better and makes me better from hearing more music that I haven't heard before that I'm missing out on. The likes of Slane you had never heard before. The likes of Tom McDonald you had never heard before. The likes of NF who had never heard before. The likes of Kayleen who had never heard before. Um, I can't say that about cannabis. I'd heard cannabis, just not really give the guy a chance. So yeah, um, I'm in this for myself in terms of... I. I want to learn more about hip hop, what I've missed in the past, what I'm missing in the present day. And if people like enjoy seeing me learn and 
react to things, then that's great too. So, yeah, um, I'm not in this to thinking I'm going to earn a lot of money from it and nothing. So that's that's why I don't really <laughs> try and jump on every mainstream artist that releases everything. I mean, do you know what? Even when I have recently reacted to like some more mainstream, it gets blocked anyway. <laughs> I don't really care to be honest with you. Yeah, I love doing this, but I also love like the comedy side of stuff, whether it be a normal rapper making me laugh or whether it be epic rap battles, yeah. So I'm just going on a rant now. So please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully I will see you all on the next one.